This program will take you step by step through the installation process for the AM series natural gas or propane, modulating and condensing boilers and water heaters. Please take note that this program should be used for installation of the AM series boilers and water heaters only. For the purposes of demonstration in this video, we will be showing you the AM1000B. However, the installation procedure shown in this video also apply to all models shown on screen. These video chapters are not a substitute for the instructional manual that accompany your unit and are provided as an additional informational tool to help you operate your unit to its maximum potential. Before beginning the installation of your unit, please review this list of important equipment and instruments that you'll need to perform your installation. You should have assorted screwdrivers, metric Allen wrenches, and metric sockets, a ratchet with extensions and a U-joint, metric wrenches and an adjustable wrench, assorted pliers, tools for cutting the metal flow switch paddle, a hacksaw, and a forklift or similar piece of equipment for lifting and moving your unit. Before we show you the procedures for installing your unit, an important warning. Note that this appliance must be installed by a qualified engineer or technician. They must comply with the technical requirements and, under their own responsibility, guarantee the compliance of the standards according to the latest local and national regulations. Your boiler or water heater is delivered to you fully assembled and carefully protected by plastic shrink wrap inside a strong cardboard box that is fixed on a pallet. This allows your unit to be handled easily by a forklift. All units are capable of passing through a 36 inch doorway. Now, we'll show you how to remove your unit from its packaging and how to install the feet. First, remove the outer shipping carton from the unit. Next, go to the front and rear of the unit to access the screws and washer securing the unit to the pallet. Remove the screw and washer in the rear of the unit. Then, remove the screw and washer in the front of the unit. Next, install the two factory supplied eye bolts on the upper side of the unit as shown here. Attach chains or straps to a lifting ring or hook. Using the appropriate lifting equipment, hoist the unit off the wood pallet. To ensure you are using the correct lifting equipment, take note of the weight of each model number. While the unit is suspended, install the leveling feet to allow leveling the unit after installation. Particular attention should be given to the minimum clearances around your unit. Proper placement will allow for easier installation and more efficient servicing of the unit. There should be a minimum of a 4 inch clearance on the left and right side of the unit. The top of the unit should have a minimum of a 19.7 inch clearance. The rear of the unit should have a 19.7 inch clearance as well. Finally, the front of the unit should have a minimum 31.5 inch clearance. Please note, these clearances are the minimum required but larger clearances are always preferred. The boiler is supplied with a safety relief valve on each module that is factory installed. The factory supplied valve is set to 125 PSI, 210 degrees Fahrenheit. If a higher or lower rated pressure relief valve is required, it must be field supplied and installed. Pipe the discharge of the safety relief valve or valves to a suitable drain to prevent injury in the event of pressure relief. Each relief valve must have its own discharge piping and not be combined with any other piping, all the way to the point of discharge into a drain. Provide piping that is the same size as the safety relief valve outlet. Please note that the current design of having separate relief valves may change to a single relief valve if a proposed ASME rule change is approved. Also be aware if an AM series H stamped unit is being used directly in a domestic water heating application, the relief valves must be replaced with appropriate temperature and pressure relief valves. These valves are available from Airco. A flow switch or low water cutoff is required to be installed on every unit. A flow switch is included with the unit and must be field installed. 
Install in a T on the unit outlet piping. You must not install any valves in between the unit and the flow switch. To wire in the flow switch, insert two wires, one wire into terminal 103 and the other into terminal 104. If a low water cutoff is preferred, one may be installed in place of, or in addition to, the flow switch. This is available as an accessory for Merco. When installing a low water cutoff, you must consult and abide by all local codes and regulations in force. First, connect the cold water supply to the inlet side of the water heater as shown here. Next, connect the hot water supply to the outlet side of the water heater with the field supplied pump. Before connecting the boiler to the heating system, the heating system must be thoroughly flushed to remove sediment, flux, filings, and other foreign matter. The heat exchanger can be damaged by buildup or corrosion due to sediment. The AM series water heaters must be fitted with a circulator pump for domestic hot water. The water resistance to size the circulator pump to supply flow through the storage tank at the boiler connections is provided as a chart in your unit's manual. The unit is equipped with a condensate neutralizer box for the evacuation of condensate and to prevent the leakage of combustion products. Fill the box with condensate neutralizer shown here. Then, position the condensate neutralizer box back into the unit onto the shelf. Then, connect the condensate neutralizer box outlet hose to a suitable drain. Provide and install a fuse disconnect or service switch as required by prevailing codes. 15 amp is recommended. Then, connect the electrical power supply. Connect the line cable here. Connect the neutral cable here. Finally, connect the ground cable as shown here. To install the air intake and vent connections, insert the air inlet pipe and exhaust pipes 3 inches deep into the adapters and seal with RTV. Tighten the clamps to mechanically secure the adapter to the pipe. Please note that this unit can be vented in PVC, CPVC, polypropylene, and AL29-4C vent materials due to high efficiencies and low vent temperatures. Your unit comes equipped with PVC adapters. For other venting materials, please contact Airco directly. Install a 100% lockup gas pressure regulator in the supply line if inlet pressure can exceed 13 inches water column at any time. Adjust the lockup regulator for 13 inches water column, maximum. For natural gas, the supply pressure requirements are a maximum 13 inches water column with no flow, lockup, or with appliance off. A minimum 3 inches water column with gas flowing, verified during high fire. For propane gas, the supply pressure requirements are a maximum 13 inches water column with no flow, lockup, or with appliance off, a minimum 3 inches water column with gas flowing, verified during high fire. All AM series units are multi burner appliances. This means that the gas conversion must be performed on each burner present inside the unit. A conversion kit is supplied with the unit and is necessary for the gas change. The kit contains a label stating the new gas rating and settings, instructions for the change, an orifice for each burner present in the unit. To change the gas type used by the unit, you must convert burner 1, which is the master burner, first, and then convert each additional burner in the unit afterward. Burner 1 is located here on the unit. To change the gas type, Turn off power to the unit. Gain access to the factory menu as follows. Press and hold at the same time both the reset and this button that resembles a faucet while turning power to the unit on. The display will enter the factory menu.
parameters 3000. Using the plus and minus buttons, select parameter 3002. Press the reset button once to select the displayed parameter. The parameter will begin to blink in the display. Now, the value can be changed using the minus and plus buttons. Using table 3-5 in your manual, select the right parameter value for the unit you are converting to propane gas or to natural gas. Press the reset button once to save the new value. Turn the power off to the unit. Close the manual gas shutoff valve. Remove the covers from the unit. First, unscrew the nut. Then, using a screwdriver, remove the spring clip. Remove the gas valve's electrical connector. Replace the orifice for the correct one for the type of gas used. Verify that the stamping on the orifice matches table 3-5. Reinstall the gas valve, taking care to properly position the O-ring and to place the gasket between the gas valve and the nut. Open the manual gas shutoff valve. Turn the power to the unit on. Check the gas supply pressure per section 4.6 of the manual and verify the combustion calibration per section 4.7 of the manual. After converting burner 1, you must convert burner 2, burner 3 if present, and burner 4 if present. Turn the power off to the unit. To convert burner 2, disconnect the plug from the connector and reconnect here. Then repeat all the steps as shown previously for burner 1. To convert burner 3, disconnect the plug from the connector and reconnect here. Then repeat all the steps as shown previously for burner 1. Finally, to connect burner 4, disconnect the plug from the connector and reconnect here. As before, repeat all the steps as shown previously for burner 1. When converting all burners, always make sure the unit is powered off. After converting all burners, reconnect the plug to the original connector. Next, check the inlet gas pressure of the unit, per section 4.6 of the manual that accompany your unit. Apply this label if the heater has been converted to propane gas. We hope you found this presentation to be a useful tool for learning about the best installation practices and design features of this Airco product. These video chapters are not a substitute for the instructional manual that accompany your unit and are provided as an additional informational tool to help you operate your unit to its maximum potential and efficiency. If you have additional questions about your unit, please contact the local representative or dealer you purchase your unit from. If you would like to learn more about the Module X EXT or other products in the Airco family, please visit us at airco.com.